Hello guys, good morning, good morning. It's Megan Ryan and I'm back with a lame recap. Good, but you know, I can probably consider it lame. Uh, like I have some really obvious moves here. Like I was, I was really trying to long AAL because AAL, uh, let's look at AAL. Uh, had like a double daily bottom at 909 area like here and you can see here and from here so 909 or nine dollar area is a major key level but you know it's uh it's strong enough so i actually did a long position yesterday from the very bottom long term nine around 9012 area so I'm up in the money as well for my long-term account. So it's good that I held. I reason why I was long in this one because I was long biased in my long-term account. So what I did today was uh, took it long here. I got filled, took some more off. I got stop, and I was like, man, I got stop right at the level that I was watching. I was like. I should have entered here at 934 actually, but it's fine. And then I re-entered once I saw that it's going to break out 940. So I re-entered, waited a bit, 50 to 60. So I was up in the money in there. So I was almost all out. And then I decided to just add uh, whatever I have left for a breakout of 960. But, you know, I didn't take the profit because I was greedy and... I wanted to really take 973. That's my like real target. So what happened was I got stopped on my last share at probably break even. Um yeah, and I decided to re-enter what I have given back here. Uh took some off there and I'm out again. And I was actually it's holding this price. Look at that. Those yellow lines are powerful. So this yellow lines are the big orders at the pre-market. This are new. This is the uh, new trick that I'm doing. I like I don't know if this is a strategy. I call them probably pre-market heavy heavy bid and ask or pre-market heavy orders. So these yellow lines are really helpful for me that there's going to be someone buying or selling in those area. So around this this price, right? It held 937, it held 937 here, held it here, held it here. Now it's on my level at 973. Right? You can probably just ignore VWAP now. <laughs> so just straight within this levels and and look what happened. There you go. That's like a really really good move. Uh, you guys should try this. This is a new I've never learned this to anyone. I just learned it during, you know, ev almost every day from day trading. I learned this that, uh, you know, that this price are key levels when trading a stock. A stock. So this a huge, huge bid and ask that I draw, uh, like five, ten minutes before the open, because that that's that's where they show up. Yeah. So it's probably gonna go back to VWAP or you know hold this level nine sixty. But yeah, enough of that. Let's watch my trade. There you go. I'm actually watching just AAL. I was watching MRNA as well, but I don't want to trade it because it's like crazy spread. The spread is like unacceptable. So let's watch. I swear this a bit. So as you can see, right? 37. You see that? There's like a big order at 37 and 9.10 and 9.20. So I was hoping if it goes below 9.28, maybe I'll get it short. But let's see. See, it held VWAP. And then boom, volume came in. And then I took it long really early. <laughs> so I should have waited a bit. Like, you know, I was just really excited that I know it's going to work. Because it held VWAP, took some off there. I should have taken more in there, but I didn't because, oh, I did. Uh, I'm kind of late, so I was, I was really hoping for 950. Come on, 950, and then it didn't work. Then I just decided to stop out break even because it didn't work. 
So waited for a bit and re-entered. Let's see what happens. I'm just gonna stop around 9.35 or 9.34 area. If it doesn't hold 9.37, 37 is kind of like my level that I wanna, uh, there you go. Oh, come on, 9.50, took, took a little bit in there, took a little bit more because there's like a resistance. There's a level that's being, uh, so 10 cent move. I was hoping for 20 cent move. Look at that, see this, 13. Next target is 9.60. Let's wait a bit. Come on, move about two cents, three cents. I was really hoping for 9.60 and 9.73 is my actual real target. 9.60, look at that. When I saw that it's now at 9.60, it took some off and all, almost all out. Yeah, so yeah, that's it. Uh, just like that. So I'm done in just less than five minutes, almost less. And then whatever I have left, I will just play around. And, you know, I've, I've been doing this kind of style for a few months now. And I feel like that's the, that's the best thing. I, that's the best thing we can do in trading. Just trade the first few minutes and play around the next trades. So less stress for me. So, uh, because uh, you know, at the open, that's where you get the whole volume of the actual whole day. That first minute is the biggest volume. First minute is the biggest volume of all the one minute candles. So I added here when I saw that it maintained nine forty five. I added and was hoping for a breakout, nine sixty breakout. I see orders here nine sixty, but it wasn't really pushing wasn't really pushing come on push nine eight nine sixteen uh, I should have I should have bailed out here that's a little bit of profit as well I could have helped yeah man see it's holding those yellow lines right those yellow lines are really good. Those are my new favorites now. Imagine just trading these yellow lines without moving averages. They're the best. And now 37 and 60, they're like the two levels that they're gonna fight with each other. So these are buyers, There's this are probably sellers. So if buyer steps in here, then it's gonna go to the next level, which is 73. So if sellers step in here, it's probably gonna go dump to nine nine dollars again. So that's why I was kind of scared that it might go to nine dollars today, but it didn't because it held this nine thirty seven area that I draw. Yeah, so nine fifty. Uh, yeah, so this that's my I stopped out uh, last year because I because of this ad. So let's see what happens next. Password is a bit. Uh, let me pause this. Yeah, so it's holding 37 area again. So I decided, actually, I wanted to get in here when I made a new one minute high, but I was just scared because it's below VWAP. So I entered right above VWAP at 945. I was really hoping for 960. I think I was very patient in here. Okay, come on. So my initial stop was 9.39, but I decided to probably pull it down to 9.37 or 9.32. I can't remember, yeah, like probably 15 cent, but it's not a big size. So it's just kind of playing around. Uh, I wanna, since I'm, I'm at home for the whole day, I wanna kinda like, learn how to trade and hold sorry this might take a while let's see what happens come on come on
yeah so 950 it was really trying to break oh no there's orders there 950 if it breaks then yeah so there's like a seller in there 950 trying to trying to hold the price and it's a round number as well that's why i said oh yeah man it's not gonna break yet i was actually thinking of adding here but uh, maybe no see i was looking at five minutes in there because it's making higher highs five minutes even in 15 minutes making higher highs so target was first partial maybe 50 yeah 50 sec 56 57 that's my partial i was really hoping for 60 into 973 but it didn't work so i think that's where come on yeah so this is now i probably got stopped uh because of that drop so someone just dumped all their position probably in market market order and there's volume in there crazy yeah so i get stopped and it went all the way to 37 it held that price even though my my i mean i was willing to give back a little bit even my my even though my position my my not position even my average cost is somewhere here i was willing to give back a little bit because it's fine because i was really confident that it's gonna go to 973 i should have put my stop here below at least two cents below this uh 37 area but it was it's a bit too far from uh from my average cost so yeah uh let's look what happened let's see what happened see oh my god so i after getting stopped it held 937 area again the yellow line i love yellow lines uh went back to vwap you should have probably entered here as well if you want and then risk this this area and then go back all the way up to 973 look at that 973 100 percent perfect 973 yeah probably gonna go with nine because this is i think previous day oh this previous day highs yesterday's high 973 so i saw this i think this is previous day high as well so yeah so if you like that video please hit subscribe or the notification bell so you'll get updated if there's a new video posted i normally post my videos daily for a recap and if you have any questions just comment down below and i will get back to you and if you think this channel is useful maybe help me share this channel help me grow this channel so i can you know have the reason to make new videos every day All right that's about it uh Hope you guys like it. Have a good day, everyone. Peace.